Hi everyone, it is August 16th, Tuesday at 6.20 p.m. And I apologize for not vlogging the past two days, but you didn't really miss anything except for that gra my grandma. She came back from Chicago, my grandma and my aunt, the other day. And yeah, that's pretty much it though. Right now I'm going to be doing some back to school shopping at Plato's. So I uh, will see you in there. I'm back and I'm better. And getting hit by a car. It was this lady when we were parking. <laughs> and she was like walking in our parking space. So I say out loud, she walking like she ain't going to get hit. <laughs> um... I literally spent an hour in Plato's closet. It was ridiculous. I spent like enough $70 on well, I got a pair of shoes and then sweaters, like two sweaters. Basically, I'm thinking whether or not I should do a haul. I mean, I don't know. This is a vlog channel. I don't know. Cuz like then I'd have to set up or like film it in the daytime and it just be weird for me I it is something I want to do but let me know your thoughts on it and whether or not I should or shouldn't but yeah it's eight o'clock now and I'm walking to Dunkin Donuts and I'm trying to figure out whether or not their hash browns are vegan because I love their hash browns but that was when I was a vegetarian still, so I have no clue what they put in it or like the oil that they use to fry it, whether or not it's Pam oil. So I'm going to ask, but Future Solier, were they vegan? We'll never know. <laughs> um, but cha. Get back at you when I find out. Hi, everybody. It is like... One second. So, it is like 5.50 p.m. the next day. I decided to go ahead and film this haul because even though I didn't get everything that I needed for back to school, this is a good amount of stuff already. <laughs> That's going to happen a lot, you guys. Just like as a um, forewarning. I am filming in front of a window right now, so I'm getting the natural light in. So that might change as well as cars passing by and airplanes. So we have a lot to consider here. But I just, I don't know. I hope that you enjoy this and let's get started. The one pair of shoes that I got at Plato's Closet, I really, really like you guys. So I got these boots and they were only $16. So we have, oh! <laughs> oh my goodness I love these shoes so much they're gonna be so cute for the fall time and yeah these are them okay then we have these pair of pants for $12 and I have a style like this but they have print on them so oh these are a little bit see-through hmm um Yes, I have the same pair like these, but they have like patterned on them, but they are the same the same front right here. And just as comfortable, honestly. They feel like pajama bottoms, in my opinion, and I love these, and I could not pass them up. So those were those. So those were those. And the next one, I was really like not so sure about this one just because I felt as though, I don't know, I just, I felt like the fit of it was different. I'm not really into that style anymore, but I couldn't pass them up. Just when I thought about my black shirt that has like buttons down the front, um, cropped, I love this. And here it is. It is this skirt. And it was only $6. And I guess that also had something to do with it. Why I didn't just let it go. Um, but I'm really glad I didn't. So next we have a sweater that was only 
eight dollars wow i'm just so glad of these prices man like the total was kind of uh when it all added up together but i am so happy about each individual price okay so then i have this sweater and when i put this on let me tell you i knew i was gonna buy it it looked just so nice it's pretty thick so come fall i will definitely be wearing this to school and i don't it's just knitted and beautiful and it was originally from forever 21 as well okay <laughs> so next we have a shirt forever 21 again but found at plato's closet that was only six dollars and it has writing on it so the writing is a shakespearean quote the to be or not to be that is the question quote and i'll just let you read it for yourself because i ain't about that <laughs> my stumble um, next we have another sweater but it's more of a cardigan honestly and oh my god this cardigan is so soft I can't believe it I just love the color too it is this cardigan oh looks so good <laughs> so soft so warm and then it has buttons on the side here that are really really nice and pockets everybody pockets I love this it was only ten dollars and it was such a steal honestly can't wait to wear this cannot wait and then I have a romper which I'm actually like pretty much 100% sure I'm wearing on the first day of school because you know you just want to want to put your I mean you want to set expectations high just so that they know you are Oh, you are capable of that, but then just make a fall down for the rest of the year. Um, you know, I'm talking about if you school, still go to school. Here it is. So cute. This ties in the front, but I had to untie it to get it on. Um, and then it's pretty. Oh my God. Look at the bottom. Look at the bottom. It's like frilly and just so nice. Oh, this is from Wet Seal. Oh my goodness. I didn't even know that. Um, and it was only $8 if I didn't mention that already. We're getting to the last of it. The last thing that is not from Plato's Closet, but I did make, sort of. Like, I was telling you guys a while ago how um, I was making tote bags for my friends. Still have to do that, but I did actually get one that I really, really liked. And it is this tote bag. And then it just has different cruelty-free milk on it. And I basically went to a flea market and they do different prints and you can just give them a picture that you want. They'll print it out for you on whatever material that you want it. And I'm going to most likely be using this tote bag as a substitute book bag for when I go back to school. If I just get tired of the book bag that's coming in the mail, hopefully tomorrow. So tomorrow, I don't really know. I'll show you that when I get it. Um, so yeah, that's going to be my substitute if I just don't feel like wearing that book bag that day. And inside the tote bag, it did not come with it. I bought this on my own. But this is going to be the perfume that I'm going to be using all school year long. It's called Sweet and Flirty by Pink. And I want to try and describe this smell to you. So, Okay, definitely girly. A little bit fruity. And just fresh honestly it smells pretty fresh yeah that is it <laughs> we did it i'm only an avocado <laughs> i hope you enjoyed watching there will obviously be more to come because i still have to get my notebooks pens my book bags coming in the mail another pair of shoes hopefully fingers crossed so maybe there'll be a part two who knows but I hope you enjoy because <laughs> this entire setup took a while so I'm glad I did it glad it's out of the way and ah! oh I wonder if I'm logging today am I, hmm. oh, am I putting this like we'll figure it out we'll figure it out like 
subscribe and I'll see you next time.